welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be answering all your hamster questions that you've asked on Instagram and on YouTube. This is my favourite hideout, it's just a wax burner candlelight holder thing that I got from Asda and it's a cute little hedgehog and I use this for clown. And these ones are two more of my favourites, they are just bird feeders that I got from B&M. In the future, I of course still want to be having rescue hamsters because hamsters are my favourite animal. When I have my own house, I love to have a pair of bunnies because they are so adorable and I love to have a rescue pair of those. My dream is to have an animal rescue where I rescue animals from the meat and dairy industries like cows and chickens and goats and pigs and ducks and things like that. I would love for this YouTube channel to be my job, but if that doesn't work out, I want to be someone who works with nature, so maybe a wildlife conservationist or something like that. But I definitely want to be working outdoors or with animals. So the first hamster that I had that was my hamster was a Syrian hamster called Peanut. And I asked to have a hamster when I was 11. And that is because we had already had hamsters in the past. Obviously they didn't have good care at all, but that is just something that we'd had before. So that is what I knew that we could have because people in my family are allergic to cats and rabbits and dogs. So hamsters was one of the only options that I could have. And from having Pina, I have learned so much more about hamster care. Well, Bruno is definitely one of the most special hamsters I've had. I'm not sure if he is my heart hamster, but we definitely do have a really strong bond with each other. I love feeding Bluey because she knows when it's feeding time. When I open the lid, she swims right over and it's the most adorable thing ever and when some of the food sinks down she goes to swim for it and it's so adorable. I don't really draw anything in my spare time, I only draw for art homework or if I'm drawing something for somebody else. I don't really have an answer for that. I would probably say coconut husk because I love how you can put it on top of the bedding and create little pathways. I've just written them down here so I remember. So first I had a female Syrian called Nibbles and I got her when I was about six or seven. And then I unfortunately got a pair of Robos when I was about eight years old and they had to be separated because they were fighting each other and I had to take one of them to the vet. And then when I was 12, I got a female Syrian again called Peanut. And then when I was 13, I got a female Syrian again called Fern. And then when I was 14, I got a Roboroski called Pumpkin. And then when I was almost 15, I got Cloud. And then a week later, I got Bruno. I think it's fine if it's just a little hat like this to use as a prop for a photo, as long as it's not heavy and it's early on the head for a few seconds but they should never have any pieces of homemade clothing around them especially restricting the whole body because that is very dangerous but as long as it's early for a few seconds just for a cute photo then that's fine as long as it's nothing like wrapping around the neck as well i think that syrians are my favorite in captivity because they're just from my experience more friendly and easier to handle but I do love all species of hamster because they are all super adorable. So the main places I get my hamster supplies from are Hope Selfie Treats, Mixorama and Bunny Bistro UK. I do have a video coming out in the next few weeks showing where I get all my hamster supplies from so hopefully that will help as well. My favourite thing about being a hamster parent is just learning all of their personalities because each hamster has their own individual personality and it's really fun just to get to know them. 
So I learned about proper hamster care from watching Victoria Rachel when I was 13 and then I joined Hamstagram and lots of people have made educational posts on there which have also helped and just being within the community has helped a lot. I've never had an experience where a hamster has smelt bad apart from when my female Syrian fern was in heat. I couldn't be in the same room as her so I had to sleep somewhere else but it was only bad for that one time and after that I don't think it really smelled so I don't think hamsters are very smelly at all some people might have other experiences but in my opinion they do not smell so Bluey is doing amazing and then Cloud he is starting to show signs of aging now since Christmas he has lost 11 grams so he is definitely starting to become more of an old hamster he is two years and four months old and then Bruno he is barely coming out of his burrow because he's just sleeping more often because he is showing lots of signs of aging he is two and one month so he is showing more signs of aging than cloud so i'm just dealing with two old hamsters right now and that's fine i like looking after them and i get to make them special dinners so they both live a happy couple of last months of their lives thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one